Hey YouTube, it's JP Dillon. Today we're looking at this RCA about 1978-79. Uh, this video is really what about... Uh, well, let's try again. This video is about what happens if you daily drive a 40-year-old TV uh, for many years after you buy it. And I, I got this a couple of years ago and been using it for about two hours a day for the last two years. I just watch news and whatever on it old TV shows and the like. And long story short, the CRT gets tired. It really gets tired. And you'll see that it takes a while to warm up. And this is a solid state set, so we have a high voltage and shit instantly. You can see the kind of greenish hue. It's coming up amber. There's no blues yet. The camera is largely compensating for this, so it's, it's kind of hard to gauge it. And if we kill the color, we've got this kind of reddish tint. Uh, if you crank the brightness up, things get fuzzy and defocused. I mean, it's, it's tired. It's really tired. And the camera's, com the camera's compensating for the white balance, so you, don't, you see probably a black and white picture, but I see this really badly tinted thing. So... We're going to crack this thing open and see if we can't hit it with the Beltron and see if we can't make it a little bit happier. Okay, well here she is with the back off. And I just, I love the construction of these sets. These sets are just so well made. This was really when RCA was at the top of the game as far as solid state. There's no funky tripler, it's just a straight flyback. The chassis is incredibly spacious and well designed. Everything is accessible. I mean, this was really... This is a top-notch portable right here. Now the only problem is, is I don't think I have any sockets for my Beltron that will accommodate this CRT, so I'm going to need to get creative with wiring the thing up. But I don't think it's impossible. Uh, and if we just pull the socket off of here, destroying the two, we see that these have all these little pins here and sometimes you can work the socket off and get the clips around the pins. I may have a uh, socket adapter. I don't know. I have to take a look first. Let's see what I got in my arsenal. Okay, so actually it does look like I have one of these sockets, which is really good. Let's see if it fits. Hopefully it's for the right thing. Come on. Is it going to go on there? Is it going to break? Yeah, we'll see how that works. Okay, now we're going to hit it with a Beltron. Uh, anybody in the collector community knows that if you have a lot of sets, you really should own a Beltron. These bring back, make everybody sick here, these bring back even some of the worst CRTs. And As far as I know, it's one of the only CRT testers that can successfully rejuvenate a 7JP4 or another electrostatic. They really are marvels and I really am lucky to have found this one I don't even remember where I got this one that was years ago anyway let's see if this is the correct adapter let's scoot this over and let's see what the Beltron says what is the condition of this tube assuming that the wiring is correct Bring it up to 6 volts. Red and green are starting to come up. Blue struggling. Ugh. That blue one's sure taking its time. But that definitely is uh, part of it all. It still hasn't stopped uh, coming up yet, but if I turn this down to 5 volts, let's see what happens. Oh yeah, emission falls to nothing. That's a tired CRT. At 5 volts, it's almost useless. Okay, so let's give it our little clean o -matic. Nothing yet. Let's crank up the voltage. Go to about 10 volts. There we go. A little bit of action there. 
All righty. That helps a lot. Go back down to 6 volts, let that stabilize. Blue's starting to come down again. Let's go down to 5 volts, see how it reacts. Yeah, blue's dropping a little, but not much. Let's do another cleaning session. More flicker flicker. Oh yeah. This thing's ready to party. Bring it back up again. 10 volts. Okie dokie. And I might need to do this a couple times. Red and green seem to be happy. The blue is still kind of finicky. And we saw that the, the blue cleaning light was going nuts over here for a bit. My goal is to turn it down to 5 volts and see no drop from any of the guns. Let's try this once more. Red still got some garbage on it. Lights come up much faster now. Green still struggles a little bit. But everybody lights. That's good. If you don't see a light and you know the light isn't burned out, then it's probably trying to go to the restoring function, which I don't like to use unless I have to. Let's go down to 5 volts again. And there's essentially no drop from the blue, so we're good there. Uh, let's do a life test. We're going to cut the heater voltage all together and see how long it takes for the guns to drop off and if they drop off equally. Ten seconds. So twelve, blue and red start to fall and then green falls pretty dramatically. And they all kind of come up quick enough and at the same time where I'm not too concerned about it. More cleaning. And now they're all coming up with me without me having to crank the voltage, which is really good. So that tells me that things are more or less happy. I think I'm going to leave it at this and not beat on it anymore. Now we'll do the setups on the set. Okay, so now what we're going to do is uh, get to the setup adjustments. I've turned all the drives and the screens down, and we're going to start from scratch. And don't be surprised, after a rejuvenation treatment or a cleaning treatment, you get a little arky sparky inside of the CRT. Uh, obviously it persists you got a problem but usually it doesn't so I'm gonna go ahead and fire this up got high voltage and we're probably not gonna see anything on the screen and that's okay because I got all the screens turned down I don't expect to see a damn thing right now but I actually I do see something little speckles on the screen which you definitely did not have before and I crank the brightness all the way up we can kind of sort of see it alright so if your set has a service switch which most RCA's of the time did that's what you want to use is the service switch that will help set things up for you so we're going to turn the color all the way down because we don't want that to interfere and we're going to turn the brightness and contrast all the way down because we don't want that to interfere. And that is what you don't want to see. That is a a lovely short. Hopefully that goes away. That's a function of the rejuvenation and busting loose the uh, junk on the cathode. Seems to be gone. Give it a whack or two. All right. 
go ahead and engage your service switch and look for a bright line. If you don't see it, you're good to go. If you see a bright line, quickly turn the service switch off and find the screen control and turn it down. So we see no line right now, which is good. I'm going to start with the red screen control. And we're going to turn it up till we just see a tiny red line on the screen. Just like that. I don't know if you can see that right there. It's just barely visible. That's exactly what I want. Now I'm going to take the blue and turn it up slightly until I get blue on top of red, which would make magenta. Like that. And then we're going to take the green and turn it up until we see a gray line. Now that one's slightly red, red tinted, so I'm going to back off on the red a little bit. Okay. That's what you should see is a nice gray line. Turn the service switch off. Now you can turn your brightness back up and look at your grayscale. Now this is slightly blue tinted and that's probably because I haven't adjusted the green or the red drives yet. I turned the green and red drive all the way down so we don't have that influence. Now it's best to adjust the drives on a black and white picture with average contrast. So what I'm going to do is hook up the converter box and we're going to uh, put on a TV show and adjust the drives that way. Okie dokie. Let's back off on the brightness a little bit and turn the contrast up to about halfway. As you can see, things are very blue looking right now. So I'm going to increase the red drive until I get a magenta look. And then we'll increase the green drive until I get black and white. And we'll readjust our brightness and contrast since things are kind of equalized. The white balance is still screwing with it. I'm trying to get it, the camera to reset. But I see a perfect black and white picture. Uh, and you can tell if I move my hand in the way to try to contrast the white balance, it's you know always auto-correcting or whatever. Uh, maybe if we add a little bit of light here, that will help us. Yeah, there we go. So adding a little bit of light changes the white balance in the camera, and we can see that it's now black and white. So now, let's go to a color broadcast. And let's turn up our color. And we need to adjust the tint just a smidge. Looks pretty good. Good saturation, good flesh tones. I'm going to go between channels here and adjust our white, our black level. But that's pretty good looking now. Let's go to some menu text. And let me see if I can adjust the focus a little bit. That's pretty good. It's about as good as that's going to get.
picture is much brighter and sharper now. Excellent flesh tones. It's blanking the camera now. It didn't do that before. Let's see. And it doesn't defocus on a bright picture anymore. Much better. All right, so there you go. It's looking much nicer now. But uh, if you're into collecting these things, don't be surprised if the CRT gets tired after years of constantly use. I mean, this is 42 years old. And although it was a relatively low hour set when I got it, using it uh, adds to its the age of its life. And so its CRT was really tired. But thankfully the Beltron woke it back up, so I should be able to get some more years out of it before I need to start looking for a CRT again. Because rejuvenation is hit or miss. Rejuvenation can last three months. It could last three to five years. Uh, it just really depends. And then on occasion, like you saw, you get artifacts, little bits of the cathode that you blew off with the Beltron that are floating around in there and cause a short momentarily. You just have to hope that it clears itself like this one did. Otherwise, uh, you actually did more harm than good, which you don't know until you rejuvenate it. But anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little snippet of a video. Uh, this was just kind of a an in-between while we uh, uh, get all the parts we need for the Admiral. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. More stuff to come.